Hey, welcome back everyone to the Valley's most in-depth weather forecast video. It's Monday evening, the 23rd day of June 2025, and much like yesterday, uh, we had our hottest uh, temperature of the year so far. We matched yesterday's high of 92 with a 92 yet again today. This is following an 87 at the start of the weekend on Saturday. We've come a long way since the very cool start to the month of June, right? Remember back on June 1st, it was still pretty cool outside, uh, 62 degrees. Uh, that cool end to May continued into the first day or two of June. But ever since then, of course, the warmer than average days have outnumbered the cooler than average days. We're running almost two degrees warmer than the average for the month thus far. June will certainly go into the record books as a warmer than average month, given what has happened in the last few days and what our forecast is for much of the rest of the month. Short of a record today, the record high on today's date, 1943. Um, the record high tomorrow is going to be, it's going to be a close call again. It's kind of low hanging fruit again. A lot of our records at this time of the year are more in the upper 90s, but there's occasionally some days like yesterday and today, or today and tomorrow, I should say, in which the, the records are a little more attainable. They're mostly in the mid-90s. So our heat index today, the, when you factor in you know, the temperature and those high dew points, the dew points, remember, have been in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Um, you get a heat index pretty easily into the upper 90s. You know, our heat index already by 11 a.m. was 94 degrees. So it, it really warmed up and heated up in a big hurry again this morning. And we'll have a similar kind of temperature and heat index profile coming up on our Tuesday. Look at how much real estate is covered by heat advisories and extreme heat warnings. As nearby as the Pittsburgh metro area, extreme heat warnings are out and extreme uh, heat warnings are common all up and down the eastern seaboard. I mean, there are millions upon millions of people under some sort of a hot weather alert this evening. And, you know, we get comments, uh, of course, whenever we talk about hot weather in the summer. Um, why is the news hyping up the heat? It's summertime. It's supposed to be hot. We used to call this just summer. You know, we see all those sorts of comments. And, you know, just, you know, kind of a reminder that while, of course, summertime is a hot season, these kinds of numbers are not typical summer weather. Our average high at this time of the year is about 81. So with a heat index near 100, that's about 20 degrees above our average high. And there's, of course, data that we can look at. The heat index at 95 or higher in a summer season, on average, we get about 12 hours worth of that during the entire summer. And that makes up 0.5% or half of 1% of all hours, June, July, and into August. The summers with the most hours with the heat index that high, 95 or higher. Some of these, you know, are not surprising at all. Uh, some hot summers on here, including 1995, 1988. More recently, 2018 was a pretty hot summer uh, with many, many hours in which the heat index was 95 degrees or higher. I took my infrared, infrared thermometer outside uh, mid-afternoon today, right around 3.30, and uh, took the temperature of some surfaces, some uh, darker surfaces mostly, and uh, took a shot of the uh, windshield or the uh, dashboard, I should say, inside of my car after my car had been sitting in the sun for a couple of hours. And uh, 168 and a half degrees, the temperature of that dashboard and yeah the, the steering wheel no doubt was the same so it's a good thing I wasn't going anywhere I wasn't uh, grasping that steering wheel at any point late this afternoon some of the other hot surfaces around the news station um, I looked for black surfaces like black mulches and some of the flower beds around here and you know it was common to see 140 uh, 150 degree readings on some of those surfaces. So as you probably know, in our part of the country, we typically think of a heat wave. We define it as three or more consecutive days with highs in the 90s. We've had two in a row. We'll make it three in a row coming up tomorrow. After that, Wednesday, we have a high of 89 in the forecast. If we sneak to 90, it'll be a four day heat wave. Uh, nonetheless, we haven't had an official heat wave in about exactly one year. We had one right around this time last year. We haven't had a four or five day heat wave in five years since July of 2020. We haven't had a heat wave of more than five days since that hot summer of 1995. That one was a little bit unusual in that it was in August. A lot of these dates, of course, are in June or especially into July. And we haven't had a week, a consecutive streak of seven days in which the uh, temperature reached into the 90s since that scorching hot and drought-filled summer of 1988. The longest heat wave on record officially in our area back in July of 1940, 12 consecutive 90 degree days. All right, so one thing will be a little bit different about Tuesday in that with the approach of this front, the atmosphere will be a little more unstable and I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of locations, let me back up our model animation to, well, say late afternoon, six, seven o'clock, 
Wouldn't be surprised if a couple of locations picked up a renegade shower or a thunderstorm. The vast majority of the area won't see that, but wouldn't surprise me if a couple of spots did pick up uh, a quick cooling shower or a storm towards the end of the afternoon into the evening. With this front essentially stalling out across the area Wednesday and into Thursday, I think those will be somewhat more active days. Now, will they be washouts? No, and it'll still be steamy. We'll have no trouble getting into the middle and upper 80s. But there probably will be more raindrops around at times Wednesday, especially in the afternoon and again on Thursday as well. And well, a lot of this will be pretty garden variety stuff, you know, with this much moisture in the atmosphere. Could there be a pretty hefty downpour? Sure. There's even a low end severe weather risk in any particularly ambitious storms. But uh, we don't think it's a any kind of a uh, big time severe weather setup per se. And, you know, the heat's just going to back off a little bit. You know, the heat indices will be around 100 over Tuesday afternoon and getting pretty close to that Wednesday. After that, we're still well up into the 90s. It's just not going to be quite as oppref oppressive. It's probably not going to be heat advisory territory once we get past Tuesday. But still, I don't see any sort of major pattern change coming until probably early in July. Here's a look at uh, today's European model showing the... Uh, atmospheric moisture. And what we're looking at is this is next Monday. This is a week from today. We have a cold front on the map here. Now there could be some severe weather early next week with a cold front on the map pushing into this hot and humid air mass. But then beyond say about Monday into Tuesday of next week as we get closer to the 4th of July actually. It's not a cool pattern but hey we'll take a look at the look at the moisture trying to be swept away here I think right around the middle and latter portions of next week. I think it's possible we'll see in the lead up to the 4th of July some highs in the upper 70s to around 80. And again, that's not cool really, but it's a couple degrees below average and in stark contrast to the kind of ridiculous pattern that we're in right now. So if you're not a big fan of this kind of Orlando or even Miami-like air mass, hang in there. There may be some relief coming, relief coming, I should say, in a little more than a week towards the middle especially of next week in the run-up too the 4th of July. All right, so we're going to be talking heat again Tuesday evening on Weather for Weather Geeks. Hope you'll join us then. We'll show you the radar and show you if we have any uh, renegade thunderstorms on the uh, prowl. We'll talk about the longer range and some more details as well. So I'll see you then. Have a great rest of your Monday night.